All right. So guys, this demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes and in which I will show you how the readings will be there in our classes, how listenings will be there in our classes and we'll discuss writing task two in detail, how to get more than seven bands. So stay till the end. It will take approximately half an hour of your time. I will explain you what services we will provide and how you're going to benefit from the services. I will not cover that. Uh, what is IELTS? How many types of files? Because I'm expecting you know about it. If you don't, I will cover it on the phone after the class. So guys, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team and our all trainer are IDP and BC certified. Every day there will be Zoom class, live instructor led class, one and a half hour to one hour, 40 min 45 minute class will be there Monday to Friday. Saturday, there will be mock test. Sunday, we share resource material. One mobile app or digital account we will provide you digital app in which you can see your own recorded sessions. Like every day session is going to be recorded at the back end and you can review it by next day. Plus you will be able to see hundred plus previous sessions from different trainers. So you can learn from this resource as well, apart from the live classes. One practice digital account we will provide you that would have 160 practice test in which you can do lots of practice, reading, listening, writing. You can do lots of practice over there. And I will show you this practice test account in upcoming slides. This account will be validated for six months. Whether you're going to register with us for one month or two months, you're going to get the material for six months. Practice account dedicated mobile app will provide you. This is the second mobile app we will provide you in the package. If you don't have laptop or computer at home, you can still operate the entire material on your mobile. Regular assignments will be there. Regular feedback will be there. Five full length mock tests we will provide you in a month. I will show you this mock test in the upcoming slides. So guys, this is the practice test account, which I was talking about. Let me show you the live interface. Is this account is visible to all of you guys? It says when your English logo, it says Burma here. Kindly confirm, unmute yourself and confirm. Sir. Thank you, Vivek. What about Gagan? Yes, Kumar? All okay, great. So guys, we will provide you this digital support, digital account for six months. Whether you're going to get one month training or two month, you're going to get six month account. Once you click on online test, you will be able to see two modules, IELTS academic, IELTS journal training. You will have an access of both, whether you are a student of journal or academic, you will have both access. So if you click on IELTS academic, you will see five full length mock tests. These are the full length mock tests. One mock test will take approximately 152 minutes, 82 questions. And once you will attempt it, you will be able to see the analysis. Every test is time bounded test. And once you will attempt it, it will show you how many wrong you did, how, how many right you did, how many bands you got. So if you click on academic readings, there will be five sections. Every section further going to be have five readings in it. Four plus five readings, 40 questions, 60 minutes, as I said, Every test is going to be time bounded test, similar structure going to be there that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. So five into five, you're going to have 25 readings here. If you click on listenings again, there will be 25 listening. So you can do every day. You can do one listening at your home apart from the live classes. If you click on academic writings again, there will be five section and every section further going to be have five tests. And every test further contains two question writing task one and two. So you're going to be have five into two, 10, 10 into five, 50, 50 writing tasks over here. Similarly, you can attempt speaking tests over there. In case of journal, you will have plenty of journal material as well. Five full length journal mock test. After that, 25 journal readings. 
similarly and then 25 journal listenings there will be listening sections and apart from this 50 journal writing task you're going to get here apart from this if your grammatical skills are not up to the level you can go into challenge zone you can explore all the grammatical skills over here all the grammatical concepts adverb article conjunction preposition if your grammar skills are not up to the mark you can attempt these and enhance your grammar as well apart from this if you go to our website winyourenglish.com in the download section we have mobile application section once you will click here after enrollment you will you will download it and we will provide you a license key once you will fill the license key if you are a student of academic you will be able to see academic videos in your mobile if you are a student of journal you will be able to see journal videos in your mobile so you're going to get each and every class recording over there for an example if you miss any class your concept will not be missed you can revise it any time any day now coming back to the presentation guys as i said you're going to we have idp or bc certified trainer this account we're going to provide you for six months digital support and this mobile app will also be activated for six months this is the schedule of our classes guys Monday till Friday there will be classes speaking will be there every day at end of every session plus you're going to get the feedback right away because in, in India most of the students facing trouble in speaking and writing domain so we have integrated these sessions on everyday basis kind of so you're going to get writing task one or two assignment every day you're going to get feedback for that every day. So Monday to Friday modules will be shuffle. Plus you're going to get the assignment. Saturday mock test will be there. All four modules will be covered in detail and your progress will be checked by our tra trainer every week. Sunday we share blogs, study material, videos and tips. This is a, this is a evaluation pattern. How are you going to get evaluated from our trainers? So once you're going to, you will get an assignment. We will allot you a small WhatsApp groups, guys, where your trainer will be there and you're going to get assignments over there. Once you will finish the assignment, you will submit the assignment over there. Your trainer will pick up and mark it as per IDP and BC standards and provide you the feedback as per task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. So you're going to get the feedback as per the exact parameter that uh, IDP and BC standards they evaluate guys now I'm going to tell you how the listening is going to, going to be there in our classes how readings going to be there is there any doubt until this point Sajjan Kumar Mr. Gupta Gagan Vivek no sir no sir okay thank you all clear Gagan yeah. and Mr. Gupta okay awesome Thank you. So guys, when there will be listening, initially five to 10 minutes, your trainer will explain you what type of listening questions will be there in the real IELTS exam, where to focus, where not to focus. And if you would have any certain specific queries, like you are facing trouble in map kind of question, you can ask your trainer that how to solve it. You Then he or she will disclaim, explain you the logic behind it. After that, he or she will ask you to write down one to 40 numbers on your notepad, on your notepad. So you will write down one to 40 numbers on your copy. Once you will do this, this kind of video will be played so that you can write down the answers simultaneously. I'm going to play it just for 30 seconds. So you will come to know the quality of the listening. need an additional leader. It's a cycling holiday for families. Would that suit you? It certainly would. You, you on Tuesday next week, say half past two. Would that be possible for you? Not expensive. And if you can present a receipt from one of the local stores, you'll not be charged at all. After 6 p.m., many of the car parks have a flat rate which varies, but 
of their neighbours. And this sort of noise can be quite significant in summer. Okay, was that audible, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. So once you will write down all 1 to 40 numbers, this kind of video will be played from 1st till 40th question. And you will write down all the answers on your notepad. Once you will write down all the answers, your trainer will show you the right answers. And he or she will dictate you all the answers from 1st till 40th. For an example, if you still would have any doubt, like 26th, you got C instead of A, you can ask your trainer, I got C and why it is A. Then he or she will explain you the logic behind it. He or she will go back to 26th question and explain you the logic behind it, why it is A and why it is not C. So that you can clarify your ideas in the class only. Now, in the reading class, similarly, first five to 10 minutes will be devoted to let you know what type of reading questions will be there, where to focus, where not to focus. After that, this kind of reading screen will be shown to you and you will do approximately three to four readings on reading day. First, your trainer will let you know how to read the instructions. It is very important. After that, he or she will update you how to read the questions, how to mark the keywords. Once you will read the questions, he or she will give you 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes to read the paragraph. So once you will read the paragraph from first line till last line, figure out some sort of questions, answers of the questions, then the real answers will be shown to you. Still, if you would have any doubt, like 12th, you got A instead of E, then still you can ask your trainer, I got A and Y it is E. Then he or she will go back to 12th question and explain you why it is E and why it is not A. Why I'm saying that? Because you can discuss each and everything in the class. It will help you to clarify your concepts and ideas. Now we're going to discuss the writing task too in detail, guys. Until this point, any question, Vivek, Gagan, Mr. Gupta, Sajjan Kumar? No, sir. No, sir. All right. All clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right. So most of the student complaint like they are getting low bands in writing tasks like 5, 5.5, 6 and very hard to achieve 7. No guys, it's very easy to get 7 bands in writing if you know the tricks, if you know how your band score is going to be calculated, if you take care of those precautions. So basically, there are 4 pillars, 4 parameters on which your writing score is going to be assessed. Task achievement and response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. Now, what is task achievement and response? Task achievement and response means how you're going to achieve the task, how you're going to respond to the task. For an example, it, it, uh, it comes like when you write down an introduction, a long introduction has three parts, background information or uh, journal comment, paraphrase the statement or thesis statement. If you miss any of these three, three parts of introduction, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Similarly, in task achievement, the length of the task will be evaluated as well. If you write down less than 250 words, st still you will lose task achievement and response. If you want to write down in a proper structure, still you will lose task achievement and response marks. Coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between lines as well as paragraph. Even your idea should be linked properly with the help of connectors. Furthermore, moreover, besides, in addition to firstly, secondly, thirdly, that is coherence and cohesion. Lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple vocabulary word or high vocabulary word. Some students just use high vocabulary word like superfluous language but still they get 5.5 bands because they're not sure of the vocabulary word or they use it in a relevant way. So we will not use any word unless we will sure of. Grammatical range and accuracy implies what type of sentence structure you're going to use, whether you're going to use 
simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound sentence, or you write down in a passive voice or even punctuation matters. So guys, these are the four pillars on which the writing score is going to be assessed. And we teach our all students how to treat, how to deal these all pillars individually and overall. So for an example, every pillar is having zero to nine bands. If you got six band here, seven here, 5.5 here, eight here, then the average of this score will be your band score. So this is the IDP and BC band structure for writing task. Now, this is the five type of normal type of assays, guys. Any one type of, of assay will come in the real IELTS exam. Opinionating assay will be there. Advantage, disadvantage assays will be there. Discussion assays will be there. Problem solution assays, direct question assays. Every kind of assay is having its own treatment. You cannot apply one treatment to all of the assays. So we teach all our students how to treat these all type of assays individually in the classes. Now, this is the high band assay structure, guys. If you will use this structure, you will definitely get higher bands. I will explain this structure step by step. As I said, introduction alone has three parts. First is background information or journal comment. Second, paraphrase the statement. Third, thesis statement. Now, what is background information? Background information is just an information which tells something about the topic in the past. For an example, in yesteryears, people used to wear simple clothing, but due to the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. That is a background information, which basically talks something about the topic from the past till the present, from past till the present. That is a background information. On certain topics, it's hard to make the background information due to the sensitivity of time. In that scenario, you can write down a journal comment. Journal comment is just like nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization. That's it. Now paraphrase the topic. Paraphrase is an art actually. Uh, any question anyone guys? I just hear any voice. Uh, just current Preet Kaur is my voice is audible to you. You just joined. Okay. If you would have any question, update me. All right. All right, guys. So as I said, the paraphrase is an art basically in which you have to convert the question into your own words. You cannot write down the exact question in the introduction. You have to convert the question. Some people believe that others are against this. This is the paraphrase plus thesis statement. Thesis statement is basically a great indicator to the reader that what we're going to write down in further body paragraph, what we're go going to write down in body paragraph. That is uh, thesis statement is an indicator. Plus it also links the introduction with the body paragraph. As I said, coherence and cohesion is very important. So this comes under thesis statement. Now, what we need to write down in body paragraph in body paragraph basically some student write down so many points they write down 5 10 15 points and then they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands because they fail to elaborate idp or bc evaluation they want us to write down in a clear manner the more clear we'll write down the more bands we will get so what we need to do we need to write down only one point we need to explain it well, elaborate it well. We need to support it with example. That's it. Your paragraph is ready. So basically you need two to three ideas to write down writing task two. conclusion. In conclusion, you need to sum up the entire gist or crux of the essay. You can also rephrase your opinion. The entire writing task two should not be less than 250 words. If it would have 249 words, still you will be penalized. And if it would go beyond 200 to uh, 300 words, chances of having grammatical errors will be more. Now, now we'll do a little activity guys. Those who will participate, I will appreciate those who will not participate. 
just stay there in the class don't leave the class just observe the class this is a real question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past that people are choosing to live alone these days as compared to the past in some countries do you think this is a positive or negative development now guys imagine yourself you're living alone in canada this is basically a brainstorming session guys in every writing task writing class you will find brainstorming session and i will update you why we have this because why we integrated we have do intensive we have did in, we did intensive research and figure out that when student go and face the real ielts exam they feel blank over there they feel helpless like points are not coming to their mind to overcome this disability we have integrated brainstorming session in our everyday classes so that your trainer will help you to generate content so once you will start generating content every day your brain will start functioning in that direction and in the real ielts exam you will have enough points to write down so that is the entire purpose to integrating the brainstorming session in our almost all sessions so now guys it's your turn to tell me imagine yourself you're living alone in canada on student visa or as an immigrant tell me the advantages of living alone one by one we can say the cost of living uh low cost of living yes sir uh sir it depends like some sometime there will be high cost of living because you have to pay mortgage you have to pay car insurance your own insurance home rent right uh no doubt grocery expenses will be lesser but other expenses because in family settings two three working hand will be there and they share the expenses right so it depends like like if you can justify the topic you can write it down okay so you can say low cost of living if you can justify this yes you can write down next point guys i would recommend type uh, uh, just type. okay yes please next point privacy sir privacy yes privacy will be there so one can enjoy full freedom and privacy sorry good point very good point come on guys mr gupta gagan just karan preet kaur rakesh sajjan kumar vivek give me points guys just imagine yourself this is a brainstorming session it will definitely help you if you will participate just imagine and just need you need to give me just point not lines so imagine yourself you're living alone in canada on student visa or as, as an immigrant what would be the advantages of living alone so we covered low cost cost of living one can enjoy full freedom privacy will be there no restrictions will be there what other point so one will learn one will learn new skills such as cooking very good point sir wonderful so one first major thing i mean guys mostly don't know how to cook in india the first thing they learn cooking cleaning of house cleaning of utensils daily chores many activities right what another thing we can add guys add a financial point as well give me the financial point one will learn how to manage funds budget management guys participate it will definitely help you i would appreciate it so one will learn budget management somehow one will learn the value of family so if one is living apart from the family he or she will realize how family was important because sometimes people don't realize the value of family when they living with the family they take it granted uh guys very uh, low participation rakesh sajjan kumar vivek jiskaran preet 
and Un unmute yourself all of you guys i want all of you to participate just give me simple points <coughs> Yes, sir. yes, please. We'll get experience. Uh, experience. Yes, sir. We can say that more exposure will be there, right? More exposure will be there. Expose. You will expose to new culture, new people, new languages, new things, right? So more exposure will be there. Uh, yes, you will learn new experience as well i mean you will expose to new experiences as well you can inculcate new hobby if you're living alone you can inculcate new hobby such as dancing singing reading meditation because no one will be there to disturb you right so live by our own rules very good no interruption one can live by his or her own rules so the decorate point, as you like decorate as you like what you're talking about home decoration yes sir <laughs> yes you can add it i mean uh, if you can justify it yes you can add it the whole idea behind writing down points and getting higher band did it there is a correlation guys if you write down one point, you have to justify that point. You have to elaborate point. The third stage is you, you need to justify it with the example. I will show you in upcoming slides. Uh, yes, uh, you can write down, ma'am, uh, if you can justify it, right? Um, now, tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone. Biggest one. No one will support us in hard times. No one will be there in case of emergency no family member will be there so we can say lack of family support as corona happened covid 19 i mean those who were living alone they you know went through very hard time so lack of family support lack of family guidance right somehow lack of safety will be there yes sir lack of safety because if bad people come to know he or she is living alone they may attack and take advantage of it right yeah home sickness now still very good point this is the biggest one home sickness guys due to home sickness one can fall in one can feel loneliness and due to loneliness one can fall into depression or due to depression one can fall into bad company so this is how we will link the ideas, coherence and cohesion. So whatever we will write down, we will link it, connect it with the next idea. Due to homesickness, when can one can fall into depression and due to depression, one can fall into bad company. So this is how we will link the ideas. Very good point. Next. So point, no guys. one to help another country. Yeah, we have uh, covered that. No one will be there okay, in case of, of emergency. emergency. Yes, we, we, we can add one financial factor as well, guys. Financial. Boring life. Think about it. Boring life. Yes, yeah, sir. that would come under homesickness, loneliness, boringness, right? That would come under this umbrella. So another financial point we can add financial crisis financial crisis because two three people i mean in joint family two three working hands would be there they share the expenses but those who live alone they have to pay each and every expenses alone so sometime people may face financial crisis and due to financial crisis they fall into depression next point guys Only two people are responding. Gagan, Rakesh, Sajan Kumar, Vivek, Sahil, kindly unmute. Imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada. What would be the disadvantage? So no one will be there in case of emergency. No guidance, no family support, lack of safety, homesickness, financial crisis. So one has 
to do so all loneliness. the activities. Yeah, loneliness we covered, ma'am, in the homesickness, right? Okay. Homesickness basically it means loneliness. Okay. So what one another point we can add? One has to do all the activities alone, like washing clothes, you know, cooking and everything. So this is also disadvantage. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, Good enough. Thank you so much for the points. I really appreciate. Uh, the purpose behind doing this activity is to let you know that. in our every class you will have some sort of activities in which your trainer will help you to generate content so you will have enough point in the real ielts exam in the real ielts exam aapko aisa na feel ho ki mere ko kuch aa nahi raha points are not coming to my mind so we have integrated this activity in our classes normal classes now i will explain you this topic using this method which i just explained any doubt till this point anyone just karan preet no, mr sir. gupta gagan rakesh sahil sajjan kumar vivek no sir all clear no. guys no sir yes sir kisi ko doubt hona agar hai you can ask me i mean there one should not uh, just uh, hold it if you would have any doubt you can ask me now we'll continue with the writing task too guys okay in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone these days than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development we can write down this type of topic where your where the examiner is asking you do you think this is a positive or negative you can write down that kind of topic in three ways you can write down all the passages in positive ways or you can write down all the passages in negative ways or you can show the extent you can show that it has many positive consequences than the few negative ones so you can show you can combine the things you can say like 70% it has positive and 30% it has negative impacts these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence this is a complex sentence in which we write down journal comment and paraphrase together now in the question question it is being asked do you think this is a positive or negative development we have to answer it in the introduction i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers like it has 70% positive but still it has 30 negatives as well let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is the thesis line which basically inform the reader what we going to do further and it also link the introduction with the body paragraph now in the body paragraph what we need to do we need to write down one point elaborate it well explain it well cite an example to support our main point now what is the one point the single person family those who living alone we call it single person family is seen to be positive positive hai kaise hai from better personal skill development and economical perspective do cheezon se behtar hai those who live alone it is better from two perspective from better personal skill development and economical perspective kaise hai how that we going to discuss now that is the part of elaboration a single member family now we shuffle the words single person family single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills including cooking cleaning of house paying the utility bills managing personal finance purchasing daily commodities adopting new hobbies and many more important skills until this point guys we have covered how it is good for the better personal skill development now we will touch the second point this makes someone self dependent which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense in a broader sense means if someone will become self dependent he or she will earn money he or she will pay taxes he will ultimately he or she will be helping or helping the economy in a broader sense 
For instance, research shows that students who stay away from their home for their tertiary degrees, higher degrees, learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupil who study from home. So here we have shown the comparison of those students who live at home and study and those who live apart from the home, far from the home. So we have shown that those who live far from the home and study over there, they develop many skills, new skills, and they become self-dependent. So we have written the example to support our main point. You can make the example, you can fabricate the example, aap example bana sakte hain. But the whole idea behind is it should be supporting to your main point. Now coming back to, sorry, coming to the next paragraph. We'll do the same thing in the second paragraph as well. We'll write down one point. We will elaborate the point. We'll cite an example to support our main point. As we have balanced the statement, we have written it, we have written in a way that it has more positive than few negatives. So now we will touch few negatives. From the opposite viewpoint, the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well. Kaise hai, kyun hai, that we're going to describe now. The increasing trend of living alone has direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days. Those who live alone suffer more from psychological problem these days. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share sadness and stress. So here again, we have shown the comparison of those who are living alone and those who are living in a family settings. If you show the comparison, it's amazing to get higher ranks. The isolation. Isolation is the synonym of loneliness. Often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is negative. For example, a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop. So they become addicted. The human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency. For many bearing the total expenses is tough. And this, this leads them to get involved into crime because they sometimes unable to bear their own expenses. In conclusion, you need to add the gist of the essay to encapsulate at the end to sum up these are concluding phases. These phases will be used. The number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era or modern era. And this has omnifarious. Omnifarious is the synonym of various. This has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences. So guys, we reinforced our point here again. We rephrased whatever we have written in the introduction with the different word. We rephrased our idea again. Hence, one can learn numerous cardinal skills, important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone. So guys, this is the end of writing task. Now I'm open to the question. I just described it using this method. Any question, any query I can answer. Gagan. No, sir. Mr. Gupta, Jiskaran Preet, Sajjan Kumar no, Singh, sir. Vivek. No. Everything is clear. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. So this is how we teach in our classes to follow the structure to get the higher band. So guys, uh, after every session, there will be a speaking practice session. Your trainer will explain you tips and trainings of speaking, how to attempt first uh, round, how to attempt second cue card round and third round. So you're going to get entire training in the, at the last of every session. So basically uh, there is a technique behind to attempt cue card. Normally examiner will give you one minute to prepare for the cue card. This is kind of cue card or topic you're going to get in the real IELTS exam. You have to attempt it for more than two minutes. You have to speak up for more than two minutes. How to prepare in less than one minute? We have various activities. We teach our students about spider diagram, WH family and other activities. With the help of these activities, you will be able to attempt or prepare the topic in less than one minute and you can speak up more than two minutes. So how to do this? 
initially you have to dis, you know um, describe the introduction in one to two lines after that you have to cover these bullet points as soon as possible in two to three lines then you need to conclude the topic in one to two lines and after that you need to add one connector furthermore moreover besides in addition to additionally and you can extend as much as you want until examiner will stop you now how to generate the content again our trainer will help you out to generate content plus our trainer will help you to use the power of imagination now what is the power of imagination guys power of imagination says you can add even those points which are not existing in the real time uh, just current free says network problem is there is my voice is clear to everyone guys or yes, sir. Okay. so just current this is might be due to your network uh, issue no. you're listening yes sir network issues okay not not a problem just karan yes, i will share the recording of this demo as well with you all of you guys so you guys can revise it in the free time as well okay don't worry about it if you miss oh, anything okay sir all right so just stay there in the class don't leave the class okay so i was explaining the power of imagination guys it will help you guys whether you will join us or not just pay attention to this topic so how to use the power of imagination if your trainer will ask you to describe your hometown still you can describe toronto michigan melbourne and just name your town he or she is not going to check the facts of the conversation for an example if someone will ask me to describe my hometown i would say i live at uh, ludhiana it is a cosmopolitan we have wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening we have multi tiered shopping plazas we have world's renowned university in our city we have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure now examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation he or she is going to check the fluency your sentence structure your vocabulary used uh, whether you going to uh, you know pitch the topic or not and uh, your body language your gesture language everything is going to be assessed in detail uh now any question guys about it no sir okay. so guys we we going to uh, you know launch new batches for academic as well as journal uh this is the end of our demo class guys i really appreciate your time your patience and uh, i'm just going back to show you the initial slide so what i covered basically i covered that your trainer will be idp or bc certified you're going to get training from certified trainers only every day zoom live instructor led classes one and half hour to one or 45 minutes classes will be there plus we will provide you one mobile uh, mobile application this application for 6 month uh, it will be activated for 6 month in which you can review your own session every day session plus you can review previous 100 plus sessions this account we will provide you for 6 month and in this account you can attempt reading listening writings at your own end apart from the live classes you can do 